Welcome to STS Presents. I'm Lucas Siska. Today, guys, I want to help those of you out who are struggling with how to breathe in front crawl. I know it can be really frustrating. I've been there. I mean, do you feel like this when you get to the wall after swimming across the pool? I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process that is super simple. Anybody can do it. I don't care uh, how beginner you are or how new you are to swimming. We can get you comfortably breathing and front crawl uh, before you know it. Just be patient with yourself. Be consistent and we can do this. The first step in learning how to breathe properly is that you need to realize in, in swimming, just like when you're on land, that you need to exhale and inhale. So in the water, you need to exhale under the water, inhale on top of the water. Exhale under, inhale on top. So this is where we're going to start from. There's a drill called bobs, and I'm going to show that to you right now. All you do is exhale, blow your, all your air out underneath, and then breathe it in on top. Then go up and down, try to get a rhythm with it. So start with that slow, start really slow, and then as you kind of slowly get the rhythm, try to speed it up a little bit, and uh, all the way up to where you're actually uh, going the same rhythm you would do when you're taking your, your stroke, that amount of times, okay? All right, the next step is that same exhaling uh, under the water, inhaling on top, we're going to slowly put it more into the mold of our stroke. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the side of the pool, uh, lay your face down as horizontally as possible. Your feet can stay on the ground. Hold on to the wall. Now let's do the same thing with one arm. Pool down, exhaling under the water, and as we turn our head to the side for a breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale. simple guys, you just need to mimic the front crawl stroke as much as possible when we practice here on the wall. Alright, so once we feel comfortable with exhaling and inhaling on the wall, and I want to point out guys, at this point where we're just trying to learn how to breathe comfortably in our stroke, do not worry about bilateral breathing. Let's just find one side that we feel more comfortable with, and everybody has their good side, including myself. Uh, I feel more comfortable breathing to the right than I do on the left. Uh, so you find that good side which you, you feel more comfortable with and let's stick to that for now. Alright, so after we've practiced it on the wall, I want you to grab a kickboard and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to hold on to the kickboard, have your head down, uh, stretch that body out and try to do it whilst, whilst we kick. Now, you're probably new to the sport so kicking might be a problem. Put some fins on. If you don't need fins, great, but if you do, uh, no problem, put them on because we're just trying to get comfortable with the breath. So, now let's do the same thing we did on the wall. Uh, breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. But now we're actually moving. We're getting closer to the real freestyle stroke. Alright, so take a look at this. Okay, so after we've done it on the wall, uh, breathing to one side with one arm, we've done it with the kickboard. Now it's try. Now it's time to try to attempt breathing with one arm without any equipment. So we're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep one hand out. Yeah, of course you still have fins on your feet. Okay, and now we're gonna just breathe, just like we've been practicing. Blow out, breathe in, blow out. With single arm, not holding on to a board. So that is the next step. So now let's go back on the wall like we did before. All right, this time, now we're gonna change, we're gonna, we're gonna mix it, we're gonna bring in both arms, okay? So hold on to the wall. I want you to blow your air out as usual, breathe in, blow out, but as soon as this arm touches the wall, let the other arm pull, okay? So breathe, pull, breathe, pull, all right? Just like that on the wall. Practice that until you feel comfortable with that rhythm. All right, after we feel comfortable on the wall, same thing as before, put those fins on, and now let's do it with the kickboard. 
So I'll show that to you right now. Just holding on to the kickboard, doing the same principles. And guys, on all these drills, do not move to the next step until you feel comfortable with the previous step. All right, that's real important. And if you do this progression step by step, once we get to the final step, you'll be just ready to swim. All right, so we're getting really close to full freestyle swimming now. We did, uh, we did it with the board. Now let's keep those fins on. Let's take that board away. All right, let's take that board away. And now we're gonna do uh, the same thing, catch up stroke. It's pretty much front crawl now, except we're gonna pretend we're still holding on to the board, but we're not. Same thing, pull, grab, pull, grab. And I'll show that to you right now, putting that breath pattern in. this every time you go to the pool. Uh, once we've done this, you can start flying, do a normal front crawl, just like this. Oh yeah, we are feeling it. We are feeling our stroke. We're breathing comfortably. And guys, once you uh, master the rhythm of the breath, even though your technique might not be perfectly, perfectly spot on at this point, it doesn't matter. Uh, now it's like going for a jog. When you can breathe, it's just like going for a jogging is not comfortable at first either. You build up your fitness. Uh, and it's fine, same thing. Now that we know how to breathe, we can build up our swim fitness. And remember guys, uh, good, good technique coincides with good swim fitness. You can't just do fitness alone, and you can't just do technique alone. They need to be done together. The fitter you are, the easier it is to master your technique. So this is uh, Breathing 101, how to breathe in freestyle swimming. Please let, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if you've had any problems with this. Happy to answer your questions. And uh, I wish you happy swimming.